the Blue Star Warrior One here. All the glory goes to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Today I feel led to read Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3 from the King James Version of the Holy Bible. The Lord Jesus Christ, holy name, amen. Thank you for your holy word, God. Thank you. In Lord Jesus Christ, holy name, amen. Let's begin. My son, forgot not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add unto thee let not mercy and truth forsake thee bind them about thy neck write them upon the table of thy heart so shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of god and man trust in the lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. It shall be health, health to thy navel, and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the firstfruits of all thy increase so shall thy barns be filled with plenty and thy presses shall burst out with new wine my son despise not the chastising of the lord neither be weary of his correction for whom the lord loveth he correcteth even as a father the son in whom he delighteth Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the grain thereof than the fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her length of days is in her right hand and in her left hand riches and honor her ways are her ways are ways of pleasantness and all her paths are peace she is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her and happy is every one that retaineth her the lord by wisdom hath found the earth by understanding hath he established the heavens by his knowledge the depths are broken up and the clouds drop down the dew my son let not them depart from thy eyes keep sound wisdom and discretion so shall they be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck then shalt thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Be not afraid of the sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked, when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken withhold not good from men from them to whom it is due when it is in the power of thy heart thy hand to do it say not unto thy neighbor go and come again and tomorrow i will give when thou hast it by thee devise not evil against thy neighbor seeing he dwelleth secretly by thee strive not with a man without cause if he have done thee no harm envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways for the for the ford is an abomination to the lord but his secret is with the righteous the curse of the lord is in the house of the wicked but he blesseth the habitation of the just surely he scorcheth the scorners but he giveth grace unto the lowly the wise shall inherit glory but the shame shall be the 
proclamation of fools. In the Lord Jesus Christ, holy name, amen, amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for blessing me with the ability to read. Thank you, God, for your holy word. Please bless your holy word. In your Lord Jesus Christ, holy name, amen. God, please be with all my subscribers, all my viewers, and, their, and all their loved ones and family members. Please be with my parents as well. Please fill them all with the Holy Spirit. Wash them all in the Lord Jesus Christ's blood. Please bless them with the heart, healing, deliverance they need. Please lead them all to the Lord Jesus Christ, as long as they have not taken the mark. And if it is in your will, God, please do all these things. And please use your humble servant any way you see fit. And Lord Jesus Christ, holy name, amen, amen. Peace be with you.